Hello everybody. We are in a winter wonderland today. We have gotten quite a bit of snow. As you saw in the last video, of course we got plowed and then <laughs> so much snow. Also, if you guys remember this summer, we got a whole bunch of wind storms and we have extremely tall trees where we live. The tops of them, because of the crazy windstorm we had, the tops of a lot of them were like bent over, kind of like a Dr. Seuss tree. And <laughs> the problem with that is some of these have a massive, actually all of them have a massive amount of snow in them. Um, there's one that I'm really concerned about. I'm not even sure what we do other than hire a tree cutting guy, which I don't even know if they do that this time of year. Um, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, but it doesn't look that bad. Oh my gosh, there's a little bit of wind too. Oh my gosh. It's so quiet out here. But um, let me show you one of the trees I'm a little concerned about. It's so hard to, um, I have nothing. Let's see, there's Lance's truck, okay? If you can kind of tell, these are really, really tall trees. <laughs> this guy right here does not look very bad on camera, but it's gotta give any minute. Like, I'm just, I'm just waiting for it. There's so much weight on the tip of that tree. It's probably gonna break in half. Um, I'm thankful some of the other ones are good. We've actually had two of the trees in our woods. Luckily, no one was out there, but the tips of them just fell off. There's one that's like the size of a regular Christmas tree just fell off the top of it. Um, our power did go out for a few hours last night, actually, and it, got, it was it was a little it was it wasn't a good night's sleep because. Lance gets up at four, he woke me up, he's like, hey, I just want to let you know the power went out in case you need to start the generator. I don't know how long it's been out. Um, I did some checking and it only gone off like 30 minutes before, but I couldn't go back to sleep. And I didn't get to sleep to like one because I don't sleep very well when he is on his work days. So um, I got like, I don't know, three hours of sleep last night. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was gonna take a nap, but then I was like, you know what? I should just get to sleep at a decent time. Anyways. Today's basically been uh, tree watch day. There's a few more in the back. Uh, the wind is just ever so slightly blowing, but because the trees are so heavy from all the snow, they're just, they're just, they're moving. And that makes me so nervous. I'm a little surprised we've actually kept power with how much snow we've gotten. Uh, since we got plowed, we've probably got like six to eight inches. Nothing compared to Anchorage. I feel like I always, <laughs> I like I always talk about Anchorage, but like Anchorage is again getting dumped on. They got like two feet of snow or something crazy like that. And then last night they're supposed to get like another 18 inches. So they are just getting covered. We're getting the tail end of the storms, I think, which is so crazy to me. They're almost 400 miles away. Like how? I was getting cold. <laughs> I was getting cold and the neighbor drove by and that's always awkward. So uh, <laughs> I just came inside. I did get a shot of the trees in the backyard as good as I can get because they're so close to us. Uh, they don't look that bad, but you guys, they're, it's so nerve wracking to, to watch these because I don't think they're gonna cause any damage when they break off. Most of them are just gonna be like the tips, like the very tops of the trees, probably like maybe 10 feet. Um, and they'll just fall safely, as far as I know, unless they do some crazy stuff, trees can do that. The roads are pretty crazy, so I actually don't plan to go anywhere today. It's just going to be um, kind of preparing for my Christmas baking. And then I have to make 100 cookies for, Natalie has a little art show at her school, and so I, I, I volunteered to make 100 cookies. <laughs> I always appreciate what all of these teachers are doing and I know that they put so much time and they put so much of their money into these little things and so I offered. He seemed very surprised, like he probably doesn't get offered this very often. So um, that makes me a little sad. Make sure you're checking on your teachers. Some things that I have done, I know not everybody can do this, okay, but things that I have sent to their class are things like um, snacks. One of my kids, they have a whole snack cabinet for kids. Not everybody is able to eat breakfast. Um, not everybody is able to eat lunch. And so this snack cabinet can kind of, um, it's kind of free for all. Anybody can go get a snack from there. So I often have my kids take snacks to school um, that kids can just pick from. Um, that's one thing. Offering to make cookies, offering to help out in class when you're able to, 
teachers are, I mean, at least the classes here are anywhere from like 22 to 25 kids. So they are, I don't know how they do it. I would be fried by the end of the day and I'm sure they are. Just check on your teachers. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing here in a little bit is Mary, I'm not gonna say last names just for privacy reasons, but um, Mary had sent me a box of Polish snacks, I think is what she sent me. I actually haven't opened it yet, so it's gonna be an unboxing, but she saw me taste test some stuff from the Euro style grocery store and was like, hey, I would love to send you guys some Polish snacks, which I've never, I don't think I've had any, I don't know. Um, we're about to see. <laughs> but I'm gonna go try those real quick. Um, I thought that'd be something fun to do. Something to give you guys because sometimes I don't know what to vlog and I just realized I only have like four videos up for the month. I'm not doing well on the vlog mesh, okay? I'm vlogging more and that's really all that matters. But I do wanna try to hit that 12 mark. Also, do you guys wanna see how much snow we have? Here's our boat. Oh, it makes me miss summertime. That is our boat filled with snow. That's a little better idea of how much. That's about, I don't know, two feet of snow. Some more trees back here I'm worried about that are in tree watch is this guy here. Doesn't look that bad on camera. It's actually pretty bad. And then we've got a couple over here. You can really tell this guy, he's kind of leaning towards the house. And then that guy there, that guy's just going to break off into the woods. So not too worried about him, but the wind is definitely blowing a little bit. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I'm gonna taste test a few of these. I'm gonna try not to show addresses. So, all right, I'm just gonna say real quick, Lorraine, I'm not gonna show the card because I have it covering up an address, but um, Lorraine sent me these and they're little, she makes little candle melts and I've been looking for like good Christmas candles. This is a, a blueberry cobbler. I couldn't find a um, like an Etsy or anything like that. So Lorraine, if you just comment down below your Etsy or wherever you sell these, I would love to shout you up because they smell really good. Um, she sent the blueberry cobbler one and then this gingerbread one, which I'm really excited to melt this one. It smells really, really good. It has like a hint of cinnamon. It, I am excited. It was just a really nice surprise that I was very grateful for. If you ever want to send us something, um, this is our address here. Please don't ever feel like you have to send us anything, but um, I do enjoy taste test videos. Um, I'm sorry, Deb, for the one that I didn't do. <laughs> My friend Deb from Australia sent me something. She's like, do a taste test, do a taste test. And it was like during my, our summertime and we were gone so much. We were constantly camping, so I never got to it. I'm so sorry, Deb. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. I do have my PO box in the description of all of my videos in case you guys ever lose it. Let's take a look. This box is very heavy. It weighs 13 pounds. Not enough. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she even wrote me she even wrote me a little note. I gotta read this and then I'll be back. You guys, this is the biggest box of stuff. Oh my gosh. So she, she put together this whole list, just making sure there's no personal information here. Um, <laughs> This is really cool. I love when people like tell me about the snacks. She kind of, she wrote me a list of what the snacks are and kind of like how they're used. And then down here, she wrote some Polish words. I may have to look up on how to pronounce these before I even try to butcher them. You guys, I'm not gonna be able to try all of these because this is this is so much stuff. She said this is like a, a Polish spam. So maybe in our video, maybe this weekend, I'll have to try this because Believe it or not, my kids actually really love spam. <laughs> my kids would be very excited about that. She did say that um, kids in Poland often have this drink. Let me pull it out. There's three different flavors that she sent. This one looks like a type of melon. Then there's a banana and then there's a raspberry. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, Lance is gonna be, maybe I should have waited for him. This looks very good. I love wafery type chocolates. There's a milk chocolate, maybe hazelnut, um, a classic. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm not even going to be able to nick this. This is so much more stuff than I thought. I'm going to try a few things, but I might have to do some on Instagram through a few videos because oh my gosh. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. This kind of looks like a jello-y, pudding-y, Dessert. This is what she said about these. She said, Kiesel? Oh, no, probably not saying that right. 
She said this is a sweet dessert, almost like jello, but not quite. It has a consistency more of slime, and some people prefer it to eat while it is still slightly warm, while others like to let it cool all the way. So this will be a fun one to try. This is like a red soup. I don't know. That one has a pickle on it. You guys know I love my pickles. This is the widest variety of stuff. This one, what is this? I don't know if I, I don't think I've showed on here, um, but I love the TikTok garlic where you just get pickled garlic, you drain all the juice, and then you add sriracha chili powder and oh, one other thing, thyme. Um, it's one of my favorites. She saw that on my Instagram and sent me this little jar of garlic. I guarantee you my kids are gonna like those. We're gonna try some of these little candies. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Remember the milk of chocolate we went and found? She sent me a whole bunch of it. What is this one? Oh no. <gasps> this is like a white and milk chocolate. Those like the, the Hershey's hugs are some of my favorite. Uh, my mouth is watering. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love that one. What's this one? A dark chocolate. These are so big. Oh my gosh, what is it? Does this one have like corn chips in it? Oh, it's corn flakes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It has like corn flakes in the middle of it. Whole hazelnuts. I think this is just like a regular Milka chocolate bar. I don't know how to pronounce all of this stuff, you guys, and I hope I'm not like boring you. This is. This is a true like unboxing of all of this stuff. I have not seen any of it. I was not expecting all of this. It's Milka brownies. Oh my gosh, you guys, Lance is going to be so excited. I wish I would have had him here to open this. Oh my gosh, I'm slightly bummed that I did not. This says a luxury cream fudge. Croiky, croiky. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'm saying that right. But this is what they look like. This is such a hectic unboxing. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was gonna be a taste test, but now it's an unboxing because um, so much stuff. Oh, they're caramels. They're like folded different. Uh, oh, oh. That was so different than any other candy I've ever had. It's almost like fudge but like a grainy fudge but like in a good way have you ever had like cow tails that's kind of what these taste like but like really fancy version of them those are really good i don't even know how to explain this it's just so different than really anything i normally get these say uh it, the, the english i can read product of poland jelly and chocolate but this is the actual name I have no idea what to expect with these ones, but this is an orange. I just see a picture of an orange, so I'm assuming like a chocolate orange. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's a little tart. The jelly is a little bit tart. And then the chocolate is dark chocolate. So it's also a little bit tart. Definitely different than anything I've had. It's almost like a sour gummy bear or like that same texture, maybe a little softer and then covered in a really thin layer of dark chocolate. Very different. I wish I could try all of this right now, um, but I, Mary, I just so appreciate you sending this. This is so much way more than I ever imagined you were going to send. Uh, I guarantee you Lance is gonna be so excited about all the milk of chocolate. I'm excited too, but Lance is like a chocolate, if, if it's a good chocolate, he will enjoy it. So I know he's gonna be really excited. It is very different looking and I'm excited to try different things. I love it. Thank you again, Mary. I so appreciate it. I did wanna let you guys know that the sun has officially set. It is, well, it's 2.52 right now in the afternoon. Our sunrise is at 10.46 and our sunset is at 2.41. We are sitting at three hours and 55 minutes of daylight, and this is what it is. Not gonna lie, it's very hard, okay? Even for a pretty positive person like myself, the darkness gets very old. The sun just like barely goes above the horizon, and it's 
it's hard. Update on tree watch. They're still holding on and we got blue skies. So maybe the wind will kick up, knock all the snow off and our tree will live. All right, kids have gotten home from school. Um, it's the normal craziness. They get home, they're all like, it's like they've never eaten a meal in their life. Everybody eats the entire house. But I wasn't gonna go anywhere. The roads I don't think are terrible, terrible. It's like Alaska bad where you just assume they're icy and slippery. But the kids have spirit week this week where it's like red and green day, snowman day where they're supposed to wear all white, which I'm just gonna get them white t-shirts. There's ugly sweater day. My boys don't have ugly sweaters, which Lannon has IVIG this week. So he's gonna miss ugly sweater day. So I don't necessarily have to get him one, but I love that they want to participate in this stuff. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Last minute, we're gonna go there. I am not getting started on my Christmas baking. I am just, I don't know. That's probably start it tomorrow, but it may be later. Uh, I really wanted to get it done so I could uh, bring some to the nurses at the hospital, but maybe I'll just bring it by on my own I'm sure they'll let me walk it back or just leave it there at the front desk Let's head to once upon a child, which is like a secondhand store I just want to check there because this time of year gets expensive and there's no reason to buy new if we can get it used Only time you're gonna be able to touch them. Huh? No, you, you, you can still no. touch it when you name it. Yeah. What? You can the pets? We gotta read about these things. Uh, what? You can, you can take them about them first. Don't you can? You can take them places and do good deeds. And then it gives. <gasps> we'll have to read the story. I won't tell you. Sorry, man. You ready? You love it? Oh. Where the moon gently cast a bright bluish glow and the forest was wrapped in new fallen snow. Your job is to snuggle and nestle up tight to store up the wonder that makes me take flight. Luna! Sugar plum! What do you think, Brayden? Tilly? Do you like Tilly, Addy? Yeah! <laughs> she likes them all. Tilly? Millie. Millie. So hard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you just happy we have a uh, reindeer? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I had way better intentions of picking the camera up and vlogging, but honestly, when I'm with my kids, I don't ever want my focus to be the vlog. So it's not like first nature to pick up the camera <laughs> But I will let you know what we did. Um, we went into town, we went to Once Upon a Child, and I got I got Addison a few shirts that she has needed. She's in size four, almost five. Um, and she's just needed a few more size fours to kind of get her through because I just know she's gonna hit a growth spurt and she's gonna be in a size five soon and didn't wanna spend a whole lot of money. Our Once Upon a Child here is so nice. They got new owners like, I don't know, a few years ago and before that it was, it was so chaotic to go in there. Like nothing was organized and it was just, you had to like ruffle through everything. Today I went in there and it was like color coded and it smells clean in there and everything is organized, everything has a place. I think I got a couple pairs of pants. I got Natalie a shirt or two. Um, I think I got four or five shirts for Addison. Landon got three shirts and it was $50. That is unheard of here. The, all the clothes are in good condition so I'm thankful for that. So we went there and then the kids were like, well, let's go to Joanne's. And I don't even know when I picked up my camera, if I picked up my camera at all while we were in Joanne's, but while we were in there, Brayden saw the Elf on the Shelf pet that they have, which is such a cool idea. I like this idea. It's a reindeer that is more, they are not like Elf on the Shelf, 
where they move every night. They are a little pet that they can sleep with and touch and feel and they collect Christmas magic. <laughs> and Brayden has wanted one and he's he's seven guys so I'm I'm trying to be very careful in case there's like kids around he's found so much joy in Christmas time and the elf on the shelves that we have Billy and Lily um, all of that so it's been fun to see just a sparkle in his eye because honestly he's kind of my chameleon kid that just kind of blends in he kind of just like observes everybody else and sees what everybody else likes and so to find something that truly I can see brings him joy and a sparkle in his eye has been a lot of fun. We are still unsure of the name. I think they're leaning on Winter or Tilly because our elves names are Billy and Lily. So <laughs> anyways, after we went to Joanne's, we got some things. Natalie has like a silver and gold day at school. So she got just like a basic plain shirt for like six bucks and then found some silver and gold stars that she's just going to like glue onto her shirt. She's been doing art in school and she's really just bloomed in that area. She was not, she's never really been a creative child and I never really forced that because like some people are creative, some people aren't. So I'm not gonna force you to be creative, but now that she's taking art, it is really just kind of sparked something in her and she's enjoying it more and it's really cool to see. So she got that. And then after Joanne's, my mom had a whole bunch of food from her Christmas party. Her boss, her boss's mom makes the best food. I, I believe it is Filipino food and oh my gosh, so good. Um, she had a crazy amount of it. She's like, please come get this because it's just her and my dad at their house. So they just don't eat a lot. Ran over there, said hi to my mom checked out her trees because uh, she's got a lot leaning and it was completely dark when we went over there so I didn't get a shot of that but she's she's gonna have some down trees here soon I think. Anyways this is getting really long I'm gonna end this because as I know this is gonna be a lot of editing I'm actually gonna go sit on the couch I'm gonna watch my show for a little bit and then I'm gonna get to bed early I always say that but for real for real this time I'm gonna get to bed early and start the day um, got a little bit busy of a day because I'm gonna be making a hundred cookies so I will be vlogging tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming along today on this little piece together, whatever today was. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!